Hello everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 7, verses 1 through 10, where it is written, After Jesus had finished all his sayings in the hearing of the people, he entered Capernaum. A centurion there had a slave whom he valued highly, and who was ill and close to death. When he heard about Jesus, he sent some Jewish elders to him, asking him to come and heal his slave. When they came to Jesus, they appealed to him earnestly, saying, He is worthy of having you do this for him, for he loves our people, and it is he who built our synagogue for us. And Jesus went with them, but when he was not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to say to him, Lord, do not trouble yourself, for I am not worthy to have you come under my roof. Therefore I did not presume to come to you, but only speak the word and let my servant be healed. For I also am a man set under authority, with soldiers under me, and I say to one, go, and he goes, and to another, come, and he comes, and to my slave, do this, and the slave does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed at him, and turning to the crowd that followed him, he said, I tell you, not even in Israel have I found such faith. When those who had been sent returned to the house, they found the slave in good health. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. The centurion knew full well his life was not about him. He had been given a position in his career as an officer. He realized that his, the soldiers surrounding him were not mere cattle. He ordered them around for a purpose. For even he, as an officer, had to answer to generals about what he was doing. Likewise, he actually made friends in the Jewish community. That was some doing. He helped them build their synagogue. The Jews really didn't like the Romans, especially military officers, as they were a symbol of uh, the freedom that was taken from them before the time of Christ. But he knew his position in that community mattered. So he befriended these people, as hard as that was. He knew that his servant was dear, near and dear to him. It doesn't go into detail, but it was dear to him. This man was very wise and knew, personally, professionally, you touch one life, you touch a thousand lives. In his wisdom, he said, Lord, I'm not worthy to have you even come to me. Just simply speak the word and he'll be healed. And Jesus says, rightly, not even in Israel have I seen this faith. Faith that realizes our life's not about us. That we are not the star of our own story. To do that, to assert our own will, to tell our own story is a recipe for disaster. So then when we let go, we release that is when the true love, mercy, and grace of God comes. That's when the story truth becomes interesting when God's in charge. But that can't be if we must be in charge. For it's really like a, a, a tug of war. Our own ego, we want to assert ourselves and the dying God and his will. We're in the middle of this tug of war. And so the centurion models for us the right way. I'm a Roman, why should I associate with Jews? I'm a commanding officer, why should I care about people underneath me? I own this guy, why should I care about him? He has no regard for others, and so he models this. And Jesus even says, not even in Israel have I found such faith. So the lesson for us is faith is not about I'm covered, good for me. Faith is about regard for others. For are they not made in the image of God? Did not Christ come for them as well? Yes. So have regard for them. For just as Christ regards you, he also regards them. This regard for others is a living example of faith. That being said, let us close with prayer. Lord, increase our faith, increase our humility, lessen our ego, and increase our regard for others. Amen.